Hello, this is English with Al, and I burnt out. When you're busy teaching students up to nine and a half hours on Saturdays, you tend to burn out. Which is why I'm heading to Pine River, a luxury forest resort for two days to regain my strength. Okay, here it is, Pine River. This is it. Oh, wow. Beside the bathroom over here, behind this door, there's the mini bar and a place for you to, to store your coats and everything. And right next to the entrance, another place where you can hang your coats. And these things over here, they're like the curtains for if you want some privacy. So here I am after a refreshing shower, wearing my Japanese yukata, which is a kind of bathrobe that the Japanese wear after visiting an onsen, the hot springs. My, what a place to rest this is, with this masterpiece of woodwork just above this spacious bed, and these windows around where there's basically forest all around you. You can turn off the light in the room and see the forest outside. You could have it illuminated or you could just turn it off and just see the forest in the darkness. This is really a wonderful experience, especially for someone who's uh, recovering from burnout. You work hard and then when you go to rest, you really go to some fascinating resorts which will give you lifelong memories which accelerate your recovery process and inspire you when you get back to work to move your business further so you can take your family to places like this. Good morning, it's a beautiful day here, so it's time for some physical exercise and off to the bathhouse. Here's the entrance to the steam room, the shower over here, and inside wood, the stove over here, and over here you have the bucket with the ladle and the branch. And a nice view from the glass. Now just in case you're wondering about these full height windows in the sauna and of the shower, they are transparent from this side, but from the other side of the building, they are not transparent. <laughs> Now it's off to the stables. The first time I was on a horse was the day I turned three, but it's been 14 years since my last ride on a horse. Here's a horse, a cord. We're going on a ride together. Lunch and quadricycles next. All set for the quadricycle ride. And all of these clothes, well, trust me, we're going to need them because there might be quite a lot of mud on the way. Let's get started.
as I'm walking along this bridge above the river here to the other fields. I want to say that when you are an entrepreneur, there will be a lot of work. Many times you will encounter burnout and your holidays might be quite short. And chances are that some things in your holiday might not go according to plan. You go to a sauna and the temperature just doesn't go higher than 70 degrees. They agree to refund me the money. When you are on your holiday, especially on the short one, you need to savor the experience. You really need to be in the moment. And that can't happen if you're, for example, busy just filming all the time during your holiday or editing or being busy. You need to learn to really let go and be present in the moment. So like now, we're crossing the bridge and we're going to leave all the worries, all the negative experience and feelings behind on that other side of the bridge. Now we're going into the field. That's fine, that's fine. I'll hold my balance. Wow! This just proves that such happy moments are the gifts that life has in store for you when you are open to accept them. Which will bring a big smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs>